Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. We are live. Welcome at Elizabeth Craft Designs. My name is David, and tonight I'm going to be playing. It's Friday, play day. Yay! <coughs> Good to see you all. Lots of people coming in already. Um, hi, Els. Ellie, Carla is here. Jose. I see Robin, Patricia, Anya, Tina, Cindy, Terry. Hello, everybody. Good to see you all. Hi, Patricia. Ellen is here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, before I forget, don't forget to like, share and comment to be able to win your $50 gift certificate because you want that. Uh, with all the fun stuff going on at Elizabeth Craft Designs, you want that. So I've got my coffee here. Uh, Daniel's going to kill me because I, I let it go cold, so I will drink it. Um, but it's good to see you all. I'm looking at the comments there. So if you think, why isn't he looking at the camera? It's because the comments are there. And good to see you all. Hi Femke, hi Joe, Carola is there. Good to see you all. Welcome everybody. Um, I'm going to have fun tonight. Let me tell you that. It's going to be a fun, fun evening. Uh, at least I think so. I'm going to have fun and I hope you will have it too. There we go. Coffee's gone. Um, what I'm going to do. Hi Michelle. Hi Belinda. Yes, because it's the start of Easter weekend, so I'm going to make uh, Easter cards, but not just any Easter cards. I'm going to make two fun fold cards. Now, if you know me, you know fun fold cards are a challenge for me because measuring is. Uh, but these are quite easy to do, and I think they're going to turn out gorgeous. I'm going to use uh, lots of different elements. I'm going to show you what I'm going to use. Let's just switch the cameras around. Hi, Marga. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Corey. Uh, so I'm going to use my alphabet stamps. Uh, these were released last year, but they are fun to use. So I'm going to use those. Uh, I'm going to use this one, the basket from Yoset. It's the Issa basket, the 1932. I'm going to use the Everyday Words from Annette. I'm going to use the Leaves Background from Yoset's last release. That's the Leaves Background 2130. Uh, hi, Leo and Anshinita. Um, I'm going to use the Fancy Cutaways from Annette's last release and I'm going to be using this element from the Twiggy Things, the 2136. So lots of different things from different collections. Um, I've got a lot prepared so let's just dive in and get started. I need to do something that needs to dry so I'm going to start with that. Hi Anita! Um, I'm going to be making a background, well not a background, I'm going to do a piece of paper uh, with infusions just because I want it to, um, uh, I'm going to cut out my butterfly from that. So, um, because I didn't show you that, but I'm going to use the butterfly as well from my previous release. So, just going to put this stuff on, get my water bottle, there we go. Me too, else. I love mixing and matching and playing around. So, and one is going to be quite cheerful and colorful, and the other one is going to be more tone on tone. So, I'm just going to tap on a bit more color. And I'm going to give that a blast with the heat tool. Because I want that walnut pigment to stay dark. So the longer you leave the water on, the more it mixes in with each other. This is on the soft finish cardstock. Thank you. 
so. Okay, and then I'm going to put that to the side and let that dry. But I will be cutting my... Um, this is the color Golden Sands. But I'm going to uh, cut my butterflies out of this for the second card. So we'll get back to that, but I just need to clean up my mess now. Um, so then what I've did, I've cut out uh, all sorts of elements. Look at my hands already, I've just started. Uh, I've cut out all sorts of elements from the, oh, what's it called now, my brain? Oh, I've got it here, this paper pack. Go Garden Party by Angelica. Uh, so yeah, it's nearly all designers, except Esther, I think, uh, that I'm using tonight, come to realize. Um, so um, I've cut out all these elements from that. And uh, what I'm gonna do is, look at that, it's so much fun. It's like colored Easter eggs, right? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take um, Mode Lawn and I'm just gonna edge around. Hi, Susanna. Hi, Jane. Hello everybody, welcome, who joined in later. I'm just gonna edge around these little eggs. With that green. And this little bunny is getting a bit more green as well. And mode lawn, I thought, I went through all my distress colors and I just thought mode lawn matched really nicely with this paper. Yeah, I didn't feel like coloring the eggs myself and you will see why I like this effect in a minute. I just need to etch them a bit. But I think that's fun when you use that green, it just makes it pop a bit more. They are cute. They are cute. And this is an older set, but yeah, I know a lot of people have this set, so I just wanted to show you, okay, get it out again and use it. It's fun. And also the leaves I'm going to just, and I need to be careful because these are delicate, but I just wanted to give them a bit of a yeah, hint of color. And then, what I'm going to do, there we go, in my box of goodies, I've got the little napkin that goes on the basket. I've got that out of soft finish card and I'm going to make that green with that same mode lawn. Hi Angelique. Hi Dawn, thank you for liking, sharing and commenting guys. Yeah. There we go. I think that's nice. I might just for that one go in with um, Rustic Wilderness, which is slightly darker. And just around the edge. Yeah, I like that. There we go. And this is just normal distressing, nothing special about it. Now, I've already built up my basket because, well, <laughs> knowing me, that will take forever. And I will just glue this on. Um, that's going to go like there, I think. Let me see. If you're ever in doubt, just look at the image on the packaging. Yeah, that's where it goes. You see? And then it will tell you where to put elements. So I'll just put that there before I do anything else. Because I like that effect of that green there. So there you go. The napkin is on. These can go on. I like that. Just a bit of glue and 
go around there. Fun. Yeah, Easter already. Blimey, it feels like Christmas was only last week. But then again, before we know it, it's Christmas again. <laughs> okay, something went wrong here. Did I? Did I? I'll make it work. <laughs> I'll make it work. I'll just bend it in the right direction. There we go. Nobody knows except you. Cute little Easter basket, right? And then I'm going to put him there. So I might as well do that. There we go. It is a great little basket. Just put a bit of glue there. We haven't even gone to the card yet. <laughs> but I just want to build this bit up a bit so that I can't lose any elements because, well, it's me. That will happen. Look at that fun little basket. I'm procrastinating. I'm postponing the difficult part with the card. <laughs> and Halloween. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. That's funny. That is fun. And that's just with the design paper. It's fun, right? There we go. That's my basket done. This looks like instant Easter, right? Love it. Right, clean hands. Clean hands for the next part. And then I will explain. It's not that I've got one egg tray. Well, we'll see. I've got two eggs. Do I? No, that's just a scrap piece of paper on my desk. I've got dirty hands now. So let me continue with the next bit. Um, because that's going to be a bit more complicated. What I've got here is a piece of this is uh, craft color linen cardstock. I don't know if you can see the texture. I love that texture. So. Um, and this is, uh, this is going to make a 5 by 7 card. It's 5 by 7. So this piece is 10 by 7 inches. Now, what I need to do is score this. And since I've, my scoreboard has um, only got centimeters on, so I need to get a scoreboard with inches as well. Just to see, I need to find that um, because that might be handy. But for now, I'm going to do it like this. So I've got my little scoring ball here and I'm going to score this. This is seven inches, 10 inches, right? Just let me check. Let me check where I got it correct. Yeah, that's 10 inches. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to score this at two and a half inches. So two and a half inches there. Score it there and on this side two and a half inches. Two, uh, two and a half inches. And you know, um, for the Dutchies or the people in Europe that don't use inches, like these cutters, all have both measurements on. So it's quite easy to adjust and uh, uh, we don't always have to know the exact centimeters to be able to make. Uh, replica of the card. So we've got two and a half centimeters and two and a half centimeters from that side. Okay. 
Now if I got my measurements right, I can just fold this over like that and like that. And we've got two little panels here. For some reason it's not... well, never mind. Did I do that wrong? I guess I did do it wrong. Let me get back to this. Why didn't I... Uh. Not for me. I'm not Halloween. So I'm not doing Halloween. Two, two and a quarter, two and a half. Mm. Missed it by a bit. Just, just let me score again. Nobody will know. Two and a half. There we go. That's better. So yeah, not for me. Uh, I need the score pal in centimeters in inches, uh, Femke. <laughs> there we go. It's just a bit fiddly now because it wants to fold on the original line, but. Mm. I'll make this work. You will not see it because I'm going to cover it up anyway, so... There we go. I told you up front, measuring is not my... That is better. Now it's crooked. Way to go, David. Let me get... Why is crooked now? Let me get my bone folder. There we go. That's better. Now we're there. Good. Got it. Um, it is minor, so... Now it closes perfectly. So what I've got here is the panels from uh, Annette's new release, the fancy cutaways, and I've used this one. And that is going to be, and I cut that out of the um, design paper that I'm using for the basket as well. And I'm just going to glue this on here. So let me just do that. And I've cut that out of the bit where it had, that had the florals on. Uh, so that gives you a nice color effect. And then I used the same color I used for the eggs to distress it, to give it a... Uh, how do you call that? Bit of color around the edge. So, just let me... This one is going to go here, and I'm just lining that up like so, top and bottom. And this one is going to go on the other side. So I've cut it out of the same piece of the paper. So I had two of the same papers. Uh, let me be clear about that. Two of the same papers, and I've cut that out of the same piece. Uh, so it has the same colors in, and then I'm sort of altering it. Uh, one is upside down, if you know what I mean. And that way it looks as though it's... one panel, you see? Nice, right? And I love that with the craft color paper underneath. So. This one, I'm going to do the same. Put that there. Just 
just putting tiny dots of glue just picking out that last bit there we go and let's glue that down here and I'm just lining these two up so they touch each other there we go And this one, you've guessed it, is going to go on the other side, like so. So I like the yellow bit continuing. So you can use these panels to make a full-size card as well, or just use it uh, as one panel, or the other day I made a fun fold card um, with just one card as a main panel. go yeah Robin I know I've been there done that I kept telling myself I don't need everything well so this is my cart front done and of course you can build up on this you can build flower arrangements on it but I don't want to I'm just gonna uh, put my Easter basket right there in the center you could do so much this is just a base and from this you can do so much different stuff Yeah, this is the garden party paper pack. Oh, I'm doing it wrong, David. Stop it, stop it. Because I thought this was a bit boring, I cut out a card panel from that same paper pack. But, you know, these papers have beautiful flowers on one side. So what I did, I took, uh, I've used the flowers for the front. And then I'm going to use this for the inside. All of a sudden, I thought it was looking a bit plain. That's why I've cut this out. There we go. So, just going to put this in there. Like so. So, I've just cut this uh, uh, at uh, this is five by seven, so this is six and three quarters by four and three quarters. Lovely. Just pressing this down. So I've got this one little egg left, so I'm going to use that. And I've got my basket. Now the basket can go on. Hi Toril, happy Easter. Thanks Linda. Look at how nicely that coordinates on that background. How cute is that? So then I've got the word happy that I've cut out of Annette's words um, and I've stamped the word Easter onto uh, just a strip of paper with my dice and I'm going to do that here. Happy Easter is going to go on there. I'm just doing it like this and let me be sure that it's straight one last 
that's the there. Why aren't you coming out? There we go, I've got it. So I'm going to place this one there, the happy. Yeah, that looks straight to me. Straight enough. <laughs> then this one, I just give it a hint of that green, just going around the edge. I know it was stuck on me. Happy Easter. I'm just going to do it like that. So quite simple, but effective. And then you can write a little message on this side, but that's the first card done. I'm loving it. Yeah, I love this. So, uh, I just got one egg that I want to stick on there as soon as I get these little thingies off my fingers, because that's annoying. There we go. That little egg I'm going to place there. It fell out. There we go. Done. Look how gorgeous that front panel is. For me, this doesn't need anything. This is just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, I did a test piece the other day and I used blues just on the, on the white. Uh, look how pretty this is as well. So yeah, so versatile to use, but I just thought before, Spring, simple, but nice card. Right, on to the next one. Um, is this dry? That's dry enough. So let me um, just... Do I need this? Yes. Just let me get organized. Um, I've got my butterflies ready to go. And I'm going to cut these two out of here. So let me do that first. Switch on my machine. I'm just gonna run this through. Boom, 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 boom. Be patient. Patience is a virtue. Threw something on the floor. Don't know what. Oh, no, nothing important. There we go. There we go. This is somehow stuck. That is funny. Not important because I'm there's going to be a body on there anyway. But this doesn't, didn't cut for some reason. Probably because I've used this die so much. With all the workshops that I'm prepping. and I think I literally cut this out 500 times. <laughs> By now. And it cut fine each time. So I don't know why, but look how gorgeous that is cut out of that paper. I'm just loving that. So, do the other one. Don't need that. And I've got a body somewhere. 
Hmm. Looking for body parts. Oh, here it is. Okay, so let me assemble my butterfly. And I'm gonna glue it down. Am I, am I, am I going to glue it down completely? Well, no. Why am I getting this glue now? I don't know, but... I'm just gonna glue this down here. Because I like the movement in the wings, so I'm gonna... You know what, I'm just gonna tear this off as well, because there's gonna be a body on there. So, might as well. There we go. And yeah, this butterfly is gorgeous. And then on top of that, I'm going to glue the body. And I just need to line these up. There we go. There we go. Gorgeous little butterfly, right? Then I've got another one of these and I'm going to glue this one onto that one. So it's got a bit more uh, body to it, literally. <laughs> and you will see why in a, in a second. When I assemble the card, you will understand why I want to have a bit more sturdiness to this part. So, it lines up beautifully because it's the same die, so. So, that is that. So he needs to dry. And then I will get to the next card. But this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Um, ten ideas at the same time. Um, what am I going to do? To do, to do, to do, to do, to do. Now nah, we'll get to that in a second. Do you know that, that you get an idea and think, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Right, on to the next part. That is all these elements. So this is that beautiful leaf background from Josette. Uh, and what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to chop it in half. So, this panel is four inches. So I'm going to cut that at two inches, right through the center. Make sure it's straight, David. There we go. Now I've got two panels that are a bit flimsy, but I'm going to turn them over. So they're like that. Okay. Then I've got two pieces of vellum here. Um, I will explain as I go. These two pieces of vellum are three inches wide and scored uh, at two inches from this side. So two inches from here, scored like that. And I'm just going to cut like this and like this because we don't need all that stuff. We're going to attach it there. So I've got two panels cut like that and scored like that. So that's three inches and scored at uh, two inches. And you can even do two and a half inch. I think I even did that in the end. Um, as long as you've got a flap to glue on. That is the, the main thing. So now I'm going to take these and glue them onto my vellum. And I'm using my, uh, this is the, not the art glitter glue, but the Barely Art, because Barely Art dries clear. You don't see it through the vellum. So I like that. I just need to make sure I've got glue everywhere. 
especially here. Sorry, I'm going quiet. I'm gluing, concentrating. Thank you, guys. There we go. That should be enough. And I'm going to glue it down like this. Lining it up right there. Like so. Making sure these are all nicely pressed down here. So that is one. <laughs> well, no, I'm not a wizard. <laughs> By all means, taking my bone folder, I'm just going to go over that to make sure it's stuck down. There we go. And let that dry. Do the same with this one and this side of the panel. So I'm making sure these ends got enough glue. So not a lot of coloring, or uh, but just building up with the die cuts, which is also fun at times. I mean, I love coloring, and I love mixed media, and I love playing with inks and paints and everything. But sometimes it's just fun to play with your die cuts. Because just with the die cuts, you can do a lot. So... Just lining it up and making sure this is lined up and not sticking out. That is the main goal here. And then taking my bone folder again, if I can find it, there it is. This is what you get from putting things back where they belong during the life. Then you can't find it. <laughs> and let that piece dry. Okay. Then, I've got a top folding card here. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to glue these elements to the back of your top folding card. And this top folding card is four inches by five and a quarter. Let me get my measuring straight. Four inches by five and a quarter. I knew it. So. What you're going to do, on the inside of that flap we created, you're going to put some glue. And then I'm going to line this up and fold across, like so. So this lines up here, and this is on the back of that top folding card. Pressing this down again with my bone folder, make sure that that is completely glued down. That's one. Then we take the other bit and we do the same. So stick it under there, make sure, yep, yeah, the right side is up. Fold this over. Now you see this lines up perfectly. 
So then we just glue this down, make sure this is glued down really nicely, and then we've got an ugly back. We don't want that. So I'm gonna, this is just a card panel, uh, the same size. I'm gonna use that to cover up the glued down vellum. Like so. Beautiful, nothing to, nobody sees anything, you see? So now what we've got is, this falls open. Other way around, David. This falls open, this falls up. You see? But now this is quite plain. So I've got another panel that we've cut out. I'm gonna glue that onto the card that we've got in there. So we've got a card and a card. That's sort of what we're doing here. Just making sure there's some glue everywhere. Do, 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 do. I'm loving this. This card, I thought when I, yeah, I loved it. There we go. And then, gonna press that down. And what is gonna be fun is that you don't, s or that you're gonna see it through the vellum. See that? You see it through the vellum a bit. Like so. Now, my butterfly, what we're going to do with that, that's going to be in the front of this card. I might even put it down a bit. And I'm just going to put glue on this side of the butterfly. That is the important bit. That's why I wanted to make it a bit more firm. And that's why I doubled the layer on there. So let me just line that up like so. Gorgeous one, right? So that goes there, that goes there, then this goes up. Okay. And here I was thinking I wouldn't have enough time to finish everything. I need this one, there we go. Right. Then I've got my little wreath thingy. Let me just um, I'm, I've just put in the plug for Petra because I want to put some embossing powder on this. So I'm going to take my Wow embossing ink. I'm just gonna press that on. I know, I've got too much time. <laughs> it's hard always to estimate how much time it will cost you. Um, and I'm pretty good at that, I must say. But yeah, sometimes you This is a beautiful wreath. I'm just going to use Petra for that. For the people that don't know, Pe Petra is my pancake maker. <laughs> Uh, 
There we go. She fits in beautifully. So that's there. So then I need another happy. And another Easter. And I'm just going to go around this one with the brown ink because I don't have the green on there. So just go around like that. Nice. How are we doing with Petra? Getting there, getting there. I know you don't see her, she's just just there. Um, but I can't, she's hot now. <laughs> Can I get you this way? She wasn't hot yet, so maybe that was the... And otherwise we'll do it again. Mm. That's the beauty of having time enough, right? I think I need to give it another layer. Cool down. Well, you don't need fancy embossing powders. You just need embossing powders. This is just a clear one. Um, and yes, I've got all the wow, not all the wow ones, I wish. Now I've got a lot of wow ones as well, and these are, these are fancy, but you don't need them. Now, another go, there we go, blah. Could be. I don't know, I never paid attention, Sylvia. <laughs> I'm impatient, I'm not. And this was spontaneous, I didn't plan on doing this. There we go, look at that. Ta-da! This is gorgeous. And simple and easy to do. So, let me just my camera is in the way for unplugging it. There we go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that wreath right in the center. There. Thank you for liking, sharing and commenting, Penny. So, there we go, nearly. Well, she worked and the light was still on. There we go. I just thought this was fun for Easter as well. So I put that in the middle. Just pressing that down a bit. Waiting for the glue to grab hold. This is not art glitter glue, this is barely art, so that takes a tiny bit longer. There we go. Then, I've got my word Easter. I need to put some weight on that. Let me get my big heavy block out because it's being pick headed like me. There we go. That does wonders. 
I'm just going to put this one there. Like so. There we go. Itchy nose. And then happy place that sort of in the center. I like that. There we go. So, happy Easter it's on the inside. Fold this over. Now there's one little thing I want to do. Bear with me. I need to find it. I've got this little box. Now this has a story to it. Um, I got this little box from a friend of mine from Australia when I was still face painting and being a makeup artist. And she had this little box full of little jewels that we can use for uh, to put on faces, etc. And then I thought, well, I'm not going to throw that away when I stop doing makeup because I can use these on my makes. And I was cleaning out my craft room the other day and I just thought, hey, I found it again. So... I've got a jewel pickle somewhere. Here's one. So I'm just going to put some dots of glue right there. It is, right? I got it with the container and everything. So, yeah, I can't tell you where it's from because it's from Australia. I want to put some bling on the butterfly. There we go. There we go. Too bright yellow, this one. I want that one. You should have, but always. <laughs> no, but there's only so much we can buy, right? Just need to get them straight, lined up. But I think that's fun, at that body of the butterfly. Just give it a little bit of bling. And I'm not going to do anything to this one, because I think that one is just, I'm going to leave that beautiful as is. So, just let me close up my glue. Making sure this is all clean because otherwise it clocks up again. There we go. This can go to the side, this can go Later I can go back in the corner and I will just, there we go, that's better. That is better. So here we have the two finished cards. The first one we made with the two panels at the front and then the Happy Easter on the inside with that cute little basket. And then the beautiful Fun fold one with the butterfly, folding three ways. See? Love that. So, um, I'm loving these two cards. Thank you for joining me. I wish you all a very nice Easter. Let me just say goodbye properly to you. I wish you all a very nice Easter. Uh, stay happy, stay healthy, and I see you soon. Don't know when, but 
I think we've got it planned already. Some things we'll find out. Anyways, um, see you soon and have a fantastic weekend. Bye.